This is the old boat ramp. I think the one we started at was the new one, but right here, an individual out of missing out of New Mexico was found right here. Human remains were found in a car submerged in the Clarksville River. The Johnson County dive team discovered the vehicle. Inside the car were human skeletal remains. They've been sent to the Arkansas State Crime Lab for positive identification. Today we are in Clarksville, Arkansas, searching for two missing people in vehicles, Ernie Joe Tate and Kaleeb Keith Pitts. And uh, there's a lot of water out here on the Arkansas River. And to my knowledge, I don't know if anyone else has searched for them. We're gonna go over their details a little bit more. We just put the boat in. Jeremy's out here and it's gonna be raining today, but there's a lot of water around Clarksville. Not too far from Little Rock, where a bunch more people have actually gone missing. We've searched there in the past. But here, uh, there's two people missing in vehicles, a lot of water. There's actually a car, already a missing person, found farther down at a boat ramp. Which we're going to check that out. We're going to be clearing all the water right here today. Got to explore with Nug. Hi. And it's raining already. Yeah, it's raining so, and cold. Wow, well, that's just part of the day. But we're going to get out of here, search a bunch. I'll go over the details a little bit more here in just a second. So we just covered that first boat ramp. So basically there's two people missing in vehicles. Kaleeb Pitts missing in 2018. Uh, he was driving a 97 white Ford Ranger. And apparently he was supposed to pick up a paycheck, never picked it up. He pretty much vanished. There's not a lot of information besides they saying, from what I was reading, he was known to like take license plates from other people's vehicles to use on his truck because it wasn't registered. So I guess he could drive it. So maybe, I don't know if that plays anything into his appearance. Maybe he took a license plate and somebody didn't like it or there's foul play involved. We don't know so much about him, but we do know his vehicle. And then Ernie Joe Tate missing in 1996. Now his story is a little bit, there's a little bit more to it. He may be driving a silver and black 1988 Eagle Premier, which that's a really unique car. We actually found one of those in where Oh man, where was we? We was like somewhere outside of uh, was it Washington. I think it was Philly. Or Philly. Yeah, we went to we left Washington, went to Philly, and it was like the suburbs out there. Came across that exact car upside down. I dove it, no tag. Yeah, that's uh. No reason to think that could be linked, but it's a pretty unique car. It, it is a unique car. I think it's like a Renault brand, or it's like a foreign car. It's it's more old. popular over there than over here, from what I understand. Eagle Premier. Very but, weird. Um, it's almost like a Prelude type shape car, like a whole Honda or Nissan Sentra. Sentra. Kind of a weird boxy shape. So his last contact was from his mother. He was upset over marital difficulties and there was an upcoming court date apparently and he was never heard from again. So we're basically looking for the Eagle Premier, kind of a boxier shaped car, right? Yeah, like I was saying, uh, if you look up like 80s style Nissan Sentra, like all Nissan cars are all cars in general in the 80s were very square and boxy. This is kind yeah. of what we're looking at. So that and a white little Ford Ranger truck. Should be easy to spot if they're out here. We'll have to see about that. Uh, but as you can see, it's overcast. It is raining right now. So it's probably going to be kind of dark this whole video, but we're going to do our best and search all the water today. And then if we have time, dive either the end of the day today or tomorrow. So let's get out here, start searching, see if we can find them. 31 feet. It looks pretty clear. This one was... This one's a lot more maintained at this boat ramp. You know, we had to pay $5 to get in. You could technically drive in and just, you know, dump a car, but there's a guy that watches. So if I was gonna dump a car here, I wouldn't because that guy, you know, people, there's a cameras here. So the boat ramp at the end of this RV camping spot here, back in April 30th, 2020, apparently 
the authorities recovered a vehicle from the from the river that had a missing person out of New Mexico inside of it. I think a fisherman found it. A breaking news update now. Human remains were found in a car submerged in the Clarksville River. On Sunday, the Clarksville Police Department received a call from a fisherman who found a vehicle near the West Boat Ramp inside Spadra Park. The Johnson County dive team discovered the vehicle which appeared to be a late 90s model Cadillac sedan with a New Mexico license plate. Inside the car were human skeletal remains. They've been sent to the Arkansas State Crime Lab for positive identification. We know it can happen. A car can go in here. It's definitely deep enough. I don't see anything right here. No, it's looking pretty good. It's definitely deep enough. There's nothing at this boat right But we're going to go down, check all the spots. We're kind of in the middle of Should the we? town. Should we check this whole cliffside because it's like the whole thing? Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, you might be able to get a car off the side of it. We're basically gonna, we're not prioritizing diving today. We really want to scan everything so we know we don't miss it. And then, you know, if we do it quickly, we can dive today. If not, we might stay tomorrow and then dive just tomorrow on whatever we find. But let's keep scanning. It looks clear here. And if I see anything pop up, we'll show you guys. And yeah, all of this is a campground, but it has access to the water, so. Kind of look like yeah, something that, was upside down. It, it looks like something a little different from the rocks. It's so rocky here, but you can kind of tell the difference between a rock pile. There's a giant wasp nest under that. You probably can't see it. Oh, man. That is. No, sir. There was something that kind of looked like a square here. We're going to go over it. I mean, this is a campground right here, but like, what if somebody put it in reverse on accident or something, you know? There's no guardrails or anything. Well, it definitely looks like scattered nonsense. Like a vehicle, man. You can do one more pass. What do you think? I ain't sold. This is like a mess or something. It might it went right over something. Yeah, it is. It only looks like the frame of something. I mean, we're talking 96 and 96 2018. In, in this water, the car is going to be there. We'll put a note in it as a big fat question mark. It kind of just looks like a pile of mess. Looks man-made, but looks more like a frame to something. Maybe a trailer, maybe just crap. Maybe super a, old car. Maybe a, if, if it is, yeah, it might be an old, like super like 50s or something. So here's the boat ramp. You can see, look at these giant, it's pretty impressive to see those huge rocks that huge. fell off. Huge, yeah. They all just snapped off. This is the old boat ramp. I think the one we started at was a new one, but right here, this is the Spadra boat ramp back in 2020 uh, an individual out of missing out of New Mexico was found right here and it's such a random spot I mean, Maybe we had the connection or family or they were just driving. It's very strange But I mean here's a picture of the car that they pulled out so you can kind of see Definitely pretty pretty dirty been there a little while I Can almost guarantee with the amount of water that's out of here. We'll find a car eventually Eight, nine feet. I mean, it's, it's not very deep. Here's the boat ramp. Let's turn right into it. Let's go out. Pretty shallow here. If there's a car, it would, it would scream off the sonar screen. You'd really be able to tell. As you can see here, the pictures, you know, you can see the boat ramp pretty clearly there. Some tires. And right over here, the train track goes down. There's another ramp in here to the left. So we'll go up there next and check that before heading back the other way. I don't know. Well, it looks pretty darn clear. I'm seeing yeah. the tires. So where to next? Uh, go through here and then there's another ramp. Yeah, we were out here last night and there were, it must've been frog, like frogs. I guess, it sounded it like was dang so pig frog. loud. It sounded like pigs, but it, it's kind of a little swampy over here. I think it was just thousands of frogs. Big old wolf right at night, right, right when it started getting dark, they were just honking and squealing. It was weird. Honking and squealing. It sounded like pigs. So. so it looks like an old bridge here. I didn't even see this on the map, but definitely what it used to be. What do you think, railroad track? It was pretty thin. Yeah, we'll go with that. Probably old, probably an old railroad track. Pretty cool. You never know if you can get a car. I mean, we've heard of people driving cars off railroad tracks, so anything's possible. You seeing anything? I ain't seeing nothing. See the old bridge pillar. Boy, it looks like an off the road one, like a good old boy boat ramp. Oh, it's not an official boat ramp. Yeah, but those are the gotcha. ones people dump cars at, so. 
that? All right, so it's not actually a boat ramp. I think I might have said boat ramp, but on either side of this bridge, people stop and park and fish, and there's no guardrails. You could definitely have an accident. And looking at my map, uh, one of the addresses I have is right up this road. This is the closest spot to one of the addresses that I got. The problem when we're researching the addresses of these missing people, sometimes I find multiple ones, so it's not 100% if it actually was there. I just mark them on the map, so could be wrong, but this is definitely worth searching because you could have an accident or dump a car in here if you wanted to, so. Sure could. Yeah. We'll just search around here and, and see. So we just we just went over something. Does that look like a car? Something man-made? Something. There's some, some things out here. It's nine feet, just deep enough. back here in this little area by the road you could definitely have an accident yeah, no and, really and a lot of the people you know they don't have these they don't have as nice as sonar I mean you can still see cars with the cheaper sonars but it doesn't make it a little bit more difficult to be like 100% that's a vehicle Three feet. Yeah. All right, the, the rain is starting to pick up a little bit. The waves are uh, getting a little stronger, but we made it farther down here. There's a boat ramp up in this little section near. This one's the Cane Creek Public Boat Ramp. And there's some campers over there. It sucked. Yeah, I mean, our, yeah, that wasn't great. If it gets worse than that, it's not going to be. It's really not going to be fun. It's the, not fun now. Well, the rain, the <laughs> rain doesn't help. No, definitely not. But uh, our goal is to check everything. It just happens to be this is the one day of the week it's raining, and we're out doing the most searching, probably. So we'll check around I here. Can't imagine this is safe. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm, I'm the old man of the group. I could imagine being out here when it's storming and windy. But that river is massive. The swells right now don't make me happy in a flat boat. All right, so we got. 13, 13 feet. It's really a small section. The boat ramp's right over there. And in these cases, we don't have any phone pings. We don't have any last known locations. I mean, I have spots that look like, or I have addresses, but you know, in these cases, you have to check everywhere. 20 cars, maybe. We've seen it. We, we've checked whole cities, nothing. We've gone places, found 10, 20 cars, you know, one spot, and it's, it's pretty wild. You just never know, so you have to check everything. So the boat ramp's right over here. You know, it's interesting, all these boat ramps have, like, campgrounds near them. Dude, this dude. camping's really big out in here, Arkansas. We haven't, I don't think we've searched in Arkansas yet, have we? No, we, outside a little room. I know we, oh yeah, yeah, we did that. I take all those back. cars. There is the boat ramp, 11 feet. Looks pretty clear. Yeah, yeah. Surprise, surprise. Not a car inside. Where's the other one at? Uh, out, go back out and go up. I thought there's two back here. There's the other one's over there out, and then there's another one across on the other side. And then now we're done with this side. Trying to get up to this bridge over there. I think it's like Morrison Bluff or <laughs> <It's> <laughs> not that. Rolling. Yeah, Morrison Bluff. I guess the 109 bridge, but it's like two feet here. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. It looks like it dropped off to nothing. Two feet. You can see it's that. not even measured. Like the whole thing is just pond. So it probably just gets probably a couple feet this whole dang thing. So uh, I'd like to check it, but if it's this shallow here, it's there's gonna be no cars. I, mean, I, I don't know. It's it's a we can't even get over there to check, so we're gonna be going out here 
back to the main river where it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> back where we belong. With the, with the rain, I mean, if you're going slow, it's not bad, but you're going fast. It's not the safest, but. There's one more ramp. I think it's called the Horsehead boat ramp over there. We're gonna try to get to that one and then head back. Well, it's a great boat for diving. Not the best for rain. No, not the best for cold. Looks like they have the lift bag here. I'm kind of using it as a uh, blanket. It really helps. We're headed up. There's a uh, boat ramp up here, and then we're gonna turn around and go the other way. But I think this is like the fifth spot or so. We have plans to get another boat. It usually doesn't rain. All right, we made it up to the Horsehead Creek boat ramp right up here. This is another one of the spots I would not be surprised to be cars or there have been cars that have gone in here. 20 feet right now. So there's the boat ramp right there. But all this is open, you could easily just drive straight in. I feel like less people probably use this ramp. I would guess. There's the boat ramp. We just have to find that one spot in town. One spot in town. There's almost always like one spot where it's like all the cars are. Hmm. Although we're not really looking. It's kind of a good thing there's not a lot of cars because <laughs> or any cars. We're, we're you know we're trying to find just just the one or two. <laughs> We're looking for a pickup or a low car. Pickup so. or uh, yeah. All right, that looks clear. Let's head around and go back. This should be fun. All right, we're going down to the, probably the last boat ramp of the day, just because of the weather. It's just not going to get any better than this. And the other ramps I found uh, were, I guess, a little out of the way from Clarksville. Anything's possible, and we haven't found any cars yet, so this is probably going to be the last one over here. It's like the edge. I don't even know if this is this is, but this is near one of the addresses that I found. So I really wanted to check this one before we called it a day. There's like a bridge over here, but it's barely deep enough, I think. Five feet right now. Shower. It just sucks because I wanted to search a lot more. We searched the main ones. That's what's important. But we'll check this one out here. I guess there was an old uh dock or something that came out to here. Train tracks bridge or something went across the Well, oh, but it ended right there. I don't think it went across the whole river. Yeah, do it. Why would it end right there? Well, I don't know if it's a... Well, this river is it another... It's, been, it's even dammed up. Probably used to be just a little babbling brook. Maybe. So right around here, there's a boat ramp. I mm, can't wait. These are all like, I guess, lily pads. The water probably goes up higher. There's a boat ramp right over here. I don't even, I don't know if that's, it looks so shallow. Oh God, I just realized I'm not covered. We'll go over that way. Is that the boat ramp? That's the boat ramp right there. Dude. Yeah, I think, I think it's four or five. I mean, it, you'd probably hit a car trying to put a boat in here. I don't know, man. I mean, that's a. Uh... Ain't deep enough to that much. I'm not completely satisfied, but we covered all the main areas. You know, searching for these people. There's always more places farther and farther away. All right. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, let's get back to. Uh... Let's get back to the truck. Four feet right here, right at the boat ramp. I think it's raining harder. So. 